Alrighty, we're talking about game day appetizers. I'm telling you, this one's for the boys or for the girls, but it's phenomenal. The idea, smoked meatball sliders. We have this recipe available on the Flat Top King, my other YouTube channel, but we're going to change things up, smoke them, and then braise them in tomato sauce, put them on like a, maybe a garlic style brioche um, dinner roll. I think it'll be, I know they're going to be fantastic. Here we go, quickly on the ingredients. Two different types of cheeses, because I gotta be honest with you, I can't pick just one. We got some grated onion, some ricotta, some garlic, some parsley, some basil, eggs, dried toast or white bread, uh, salt, pepper, uh, ground pork, you can use veal, uh, ground beef, and then we have sweet Italian sausage. First things first, let's get this cheese grated. Might seem like a lot amount of cheese, and it is. It's actually my daughter's birthday. We only need a third a cup. She likes Alfredo, so I'm gonna make her Alfredo from scratch. But for this recipe, third of a cup. Eyeballing it. That looks like a third of a cup to me. If it's more, we'll live. Two eggs. Ricotta cheese. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Uh, just kind of like tear up that day old bread. We've had it on the counter drying out. We got a little parsley. You definitely do not want to over mix your meatball mixture. So we're gonna incorporate all that together. We have roughly about five basil leaves. You guys know the drill, roll them thin and chiffonade. Basically chiffonade is just a very thin slice. Five cloves of minced garlic. You can definitely go with your knife, but I use the cheater method. All right, one last mix before we add the meat. So we've added the basil, the garlic. You can actually add all that before you mix it up. Gloving up, because this is my favorite part. Getting in there with your hands. Ground beef, like 80-20. Sweet Italian sausage, ground pork. Now we're just gonna mix this with our hands. Remember, don't over mix. Just kind of work it in there, fold it, kind of break it up a little bit. Once your meatball mix is all ready, we're just gonna portion it out. I'm using roughly about four tablespoons as a cookie scoop so they all stay evenly. And then I'm just gonna spread them out on this cooling rack. You notice I got it upside down because that helps get it in and out of the smoker without like jamming up or sticking. And of course, I got my Lone Star Grills today. We're rocking about 225 degrees along with those smoking pecan pellets. Alrighty, roughly about two hours and 15 minutes later, we're rocking anywhere about 160 to 165. Alrighty, so simply enough, I just thought maybe that little extra oomph on the bottom kind of build those flavors. Now, this is what I'm thinking. If you're taking these tailgating, if you're doing for appetizers, you could definitely do these a day ahead. Once they get to this point, as long as they've come up to temperature, you gotta hit that 165 because your pork. Uh, just refrigerate them overnight. Get your sauce ready, and then you can warm them up in your sauce the next day. You can travel with them in the sauce. All I'm doing is basically just creating that crust on the bottom because I wanna be able to use that fond, that flavor for my sauce. There was a miscommunication between my wife and I. The whole idea was I was gonna sear off those meatballs. I did that. While we're cleaning up, which is what I typically do, she accidentally cleaned the pan. I would like to keep the fond in the pan. It's not a big deal. What we have here is onions that have already been sauteed to start the process. So we're just gonna keep those going. Now we're gonna make a quick sauce. Fresh basil and fresh garlic. So we'll do a very, very thin slice. into those onions that garlic goes. If you notice, I started those onions off way before that garlic because I did not want that garlic to burn. And obviously this is optional. Everything I'm doing right here is optional. Once you got those meatballs cooked to your liking, you can add whatever you want to add and stress about as much as you want to. Just a large can of crushed tomatoes. Just a pinch of dried oregano, 
small pinch of black pepper, a couple pinches of salt. I'm gonna add one little pinch of sugar. We can taste that later. A very small pinch of red pepper. Add that basil right at the end. And there you have yourself a quick homemade tomato sauce. If you like it sweeter, add more sugar. Some people don't even add sugar. We like the very, very, what would you call it? Acidic. We like the brightness. So that's completely up to you, but we're gonna simmer these meatballs in this sauce really quick. Remember when I said I bumped that smoker up to about 325 is because now we've just thrown some uh, slaughter style dinner rolls in there and they're gonna be warming up and toasting while this or while these meatballs kind of simmer in that sauce. Look at that color. Mm. All righty, just to show you really quick, I went the easy route. This is sliced mozzarella fresh. So we pulled this uh, little rolls. I'll show you those in a second off the smoker a little bit. We just want to dry them out because all that sauce gets in there. You don't want them too soggy. Sargento thin because we're going to fold these. You know the thick if you want to. It's just provolone, so I just thought maybe quarter them like that. Putting that cheese on the top and bottom actually helps your buns from getting soggy. All right, right before we build them, I just want to show you guys a new product. This is the Farmhouse line from Pepperidge Farm, the Brioche uh, Dinner Rolls. The brioche hamburger buns are probably one of my favorites. It's a brand new line this year. And piggybacking based off that success, they came out with dinner rolls. Uh, so definitely gonna be in a store near you, dear, da, 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 da. definitely gonna be in a store near you during the holidays. So check those out. Cause I'm telling you right now, they're probably not even stores yet. And they are absolutely fantastic. So far it is my favorite. So check those out. Alrighty, simply enough, we have the warm mozzarella over the bottom. We got the melted provolone over top. You can even do garlic bread. Whatever floats your boat, I'll advise you to do that. Just add a little bit of sauce. Maybe I'll go top and bottom. I'm just thinking about the perfect bite. I don't know if there's a right or wrong way. And then we'll just come back and top these off with some meatballs. They're tender, they're smoky. Perfect for tailgating, messy and they can be done ahead of time. You can actually just cook them in the sauce. Just make sure you warm them up the right way. And like always, you eat with your eyes, so just a little fresh parsley, completely unnecessary, but you might as well do it since you got it. Now that right there should win you first place, not only in your fantasy league, but in your tailgating league. That's what we need to come up with, a fantasy tailgating food spectacular uh, <laughs> forget the first downs and all that stuff that's what i'm talking about hey if you want to add your tomato sauce also a little pasta go ahead but here we are the smoked meatball slider full of cheese don't mind if i do perfect for tailgating perfect for game days just something different right you know what it's all about you could actually brush the tops of these with like a little garlic butter as well if you wanted to mm. mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. You get the smoky flavor? Jeez. The sweetness of the bun. Mm. Let me see. Where's my bite? It's like a little dippage. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's good, babe. Cheese worked out well. Mm hmm. Bread's still nice and soft and warm. Perfect. All right, guys, there you go. Football's upon us, appetizers are here. If you guys have any recommendations comment down below other than that thanks for watching don't forget to, 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 to thanks for watching don't forget to press that subscribe button pound the notification button share it with your friends peace mm. don't mind if i do you need a little dippage those are really good mm. <laughs> that meatball recipe is on point babe good job oh, good.